model shipwright Steve Prisky. So I wanted to invite everybody along because I just got commissioned to build another ship model. So I'd like to invite you along and watch while I build the tall ship Flying Cloud. Uh, the Flying Cloud was one of the clipper ships built during the gold rush era and her job was to carry folks out to the uh, California gold fields to San Francisco and then she went on to China and carried tea back to the East Coast. Well, it turns out that the Flying Cloud, when she was launched in 1851, was the largest clipper ship afloat anywhere in the world. Not only that, but on her maiden voyage, she ended up setting a world record to San Francisco of 89 days. An 89-day passage, so this, this ship has an incredible history, and I hope to make the ship model equal to her history. Now, the model that I'm building is going to be at 186th scale, meaning the model is uh, about 36 inches long from the tip of the bowsprit to the tip of the spanker boom. And this model of the Flying Cloud is going to have completely set sails. All of the sails are going to be set. There's going to be uh, uh, full canvas sails. In fact, the commission calls for her to look like she looked on her arrival in San Francisco after her record-setting 89-day passage. I'm also going to be coppering the hull of the ship model with real copper plates, over 700 real copper plates, just like on the real ship. So I'm going to spend the next three months uh, building this model. I'll post videos on YouTube as I complete each section. Um, they'll run about 10 minutes long and I'll try to detail some of the uh, little tips and tricks that I use in building tall ship models. Now, um, I can't post all of the information that uh, that I'll compile, so at the end of this project I'll also make a DVD available that'll have a whole lot more footage and photographs on how I build a tall ship model. Anyway, in this first segment I'm going to describe how you build the frame and plank it, and then also how you build the deck uh, and plank the deck of a ship model. So follow along for the next couple, three months while I build the tall ship Flying Cloud. Part of the uh, background research that I've done for the Flying Cloud Clipper Ship model project includes the traditional books that you'd find in libraries and such. Um, some special books that have paintings in them that are really, really uh, amazing, give you a lot of details. And of course, there's these Time Life books that have a lot of details of the American Clipper Ships, 1851 era, just like the Flying Cloud. Um, a couple of other books that I've accumulated over the years have an awful lot of detail of how the rigging was done on these ships. Hand-drawn schematics and so on that'll give you a lot of details. But by far, my very, very favorite piece of research material for this project and any project to do with clipper ships is a book written by Donald Gunn Ross III, who is a direct descendant of Donald McKay, the actual builder of the Flying Cloud, for crying out loud. Uh, Don wrote this book a couple, three years ago, and you can access an awful lot of the information that's in this book on his website, which is called Era of the Clipper Ships. But I'm going to be utilizing the incredible amount of detail in this book about how the Flying Cloud was built. There's literally a, almost a day-by-day -day account of the building of the Flying Cloud and then of her maiden voyage. Now this particular model that I'm building of the Flying Cloud is going to be depicted as she looked when she arrived in San Francisco in around 1851, right after her launching. Here's the launching of the Flying Cloud. So I'm going to be utilizing a lot of the descriptions of her maiden voyage and how she appeared on arrival in San Francisco of course, the Flying Cloud went on to have a very storied career, sailing for quite a few years, uh, both as a gold rush people carrier from the East Coast to the West Coast, but then also picking up traditional cargoes of tea in China, taking them to the East Coast for her return voyage. Anyway, I recommend this book, Era of the Clipper Ships, to anyone who has interest in the history of clipper ships because it's incredibly detailed, not just the ships built by Donald McKay, but all clipper ships. Our uh, American-built clipper ships are detailed in this incredibly concise book. And of course you can get information about this book 
from Don directly on his website, Era of the Clipper Ships. Another piece of uh, memorabilia that I've acquired over the years because I used to fly for Pan American Airlines as an in-flight purser. I was fortunate, picked up over uh, quite a few years ago, this menu cover, a first class menu cover. Here's the first class menu for a transatlantic flight and the menu cover depicts the flying cloud on it, which is sort of cool. Now in addition to the specific books about the flying cloud that I'm going to be using for this particular project, here's a couple of books, or a few books, that are always on my table when I'm building any kind of a clipper ship model. Pretty much actually any kind of a tall ship model. You know, the art of rigging and ship model builder's assistant are invaluable. Um, the American sailing ships is pretty cool and before the mast and the clippers it gives you lots of inspiration. But far and away the very best book that I've ever found for any kind of reference for building tall ships of any kind is the China Tea Clippers by George Campbell. This book is very hard to find in the United States. I happen to find this copy um, brand new with all the stains are on it from my use over the years. I happen to find this copy in Boston and if you can get yourself a copy, this is the book that you will refer to for every ship model, tall ship model that you'll ever build. I'm not kidding. Uh, for example, and, and the cool thing is that George compares in this book British and American clipper ships. There were only British and Americans building clipper ships during the height of the clipper ship era, 1850s. And all of the differences that I can possibly imagine are depicted in this book, including, for example, the composite hulls when they started going from all wooden hulls to metal hulls. The deck fittings are all laid out here. Um, on this particular project the Flying Cloud had a new kind of a steering gear called a patent steering gear and that's very well detailed and laid out in this book so I'll be utilizing that as my reference for building that particular part of the ship model. Here for example the steering gears. And we can see that the American pattern steering gear had a certain design to it, very distinctly different from British ones and from the earlier block and tackle kind of steering gears. Again, this book, well, here, coppering. The, the, this particular ship model is going to have a coppered hull, and again, I can utilize the references in this book to show you exactly how to copper the hull of a clipper ship. Really an amazing book. Anyway, uh, so these are some of the references that I recommend anybody having in their library. China Tea Clippers by George Campbell, number one. The Art of Rigging and the Ship Model Builder's Assistant.